apprentice control systems engineer. I'd like to think I've learnt a lot of, uh, of the raw hand skills that I, that I need to do the job. The main things that I've learned is character building stuff where it allows me to be able to work as a team, know how dependent people are of me and just be, just work, work hard for it and be aware of what's going on so that you can help in any way. Well, as everyone knows, unemployed, when you're unemployed, you're just, con you're just looking for stuff and it just doesn't seem like anything's going to happen. So you've got all this pressure on you and especially when you've got something behind you and you've been working for it for years. Once you start getting a few knockbacks, it's, you just start thinking that you're not going to get anything. When you manage to find something, it lifts all the pressure that comes, comes with it. So sometimes you get a wee bit desperate for a job and sometimes you go for stuff that's completely out of your, out of your field just so you've got something to do and if you stick if you stick to that for a certain amount of time you start to get worried that you're not going to get out of it. I like working here because um, it gives me a chance to build upon what, what I started. Um, I was at college for years to do engineering, I've got a chance here. I get to practice, I get to look at the drawings, like figure out how it, actually, how it all works ask questions all the time to figure out how the components and stuff are. I'll be getting training provided for me, so I get to learn more. I get opportunities to go off, off site and stuff, and I have before I got the opportunity to go to Holland for a month to do installation. It's the start of my progression as to get an engineer, that's the way I see it.